Hey guys, I just want you to know that I am now making my own Sodor Fallout AU or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called an AU. But yeah. I um I have a whole railway that I had for a while now. And I think I have a few pictures of it. So I will be making it and this is episode one. The Brendan bit not er, not the blast. The tin the blast at the sheds. And like I said, it's my own Sudo Farewell AU. So and and I'm changing like everything. Okay? Everything. Alright, so yeah. Let's get started. We were at the, uh, let me get the tiny one a bit. I got the train. We were at hidden, we were around, we were right at Brendan Docks when it happened. We were just at the station at Brendam Docks. At the do at the docks in the bay with Skiff and far, far away we heard a loud explosion. We walked on we walked, we turned on our two way radio, which we realized was always on. And it said that hidden with sheds had a ball had a radi it had some radiation dumped onto it and a bomb placed it next to the radiation and it just went off and exploded to the sheds. And there were engines in there getting repaired or repainted or resting and all of those engines didn't make it. Except one, Toby made it. Toby were just leaving and, and he, and he quickly ran from the explosion. Meanwhile, we were at, meanwhile, meanwhile, I also have a journal to, from, that I am keeping in Rosie's cab. And it's been, oh, ow. And it's been, oh, and Th Thomas and Duck are also there. Thomas is pulling the, Annie and Clarabelle and the ma and the mail for Percy as he was at the shop bit get, getting did it getting repainted. But Seth and Percy were were expected to not make it, but but he but he just barely made it. He barely made it. Um, with Toby, he. He were he actually his driver saw the bomb and drove Percy out of there and they were just getting out as the explosion happened. It damaged Percy a lot. But Percy managed to survive. And coupled up and coupled right up to to Toby. And eventually Percy ran right through a mud puddle. As, as, as he were getting coupled up to Toby, which was luckily, and it got him dirty, even, even some on the face, but he made it. In the mud, were in the mud, ended up being hit by the shock wave, splashing it everywhere. But the shockwave didn't hit Brenda yet. We got the heck out. We got out of there as fast as we could with Rosie's coach. With Ro Rosie's coach. With a, but Ashima were were at the scrapyard when the blast hap happened. It was expected that a day before. Iron Bert, Iron, Aerie and Iron Bert captured her. 
and we were going to save her until, but we realized it was 12 a.m. So we had to wait till tomorrow after our jobs. And Rosie's brakes held her from going for a second. But then she went as fa faster than she ever went before. She passed the scrap yard. She passed both repair yards for in like 10 seconds. And, and, and it will take 10, 20 regular seconds to get there at, at, at max speed. 30 for the lowest speed ever. A tram, to be honest. Rosie kept going and going. Oh, oh my god. Cut, cut, cut. Um, I, I wish I could. Rosie ran right past the scrapyard, which is when the shockwave hit. And the shockwave hit right at the scrap, at, right at a junction, a buffer junction, which had some buffers. Where it, it's right here. Yeah, right there. Where in in saw Kenji broken, get broken down there. But we're getting repaired with his eyes shut, along with Young Bao and Ashima. But Ashima were captured right on the broken track with buffers right in front of the track. And, and that's when the shockwave hit, hit them, hit us. And it wasn't that strong, so, so the windows only cracked. <laughs> she went, she made it right up Gordon's Hill, and then came plunging down. And nearly derailed too, because there was. A then she she passed Olsted Castle, which and then she went to Olsted Castle, which was the safest place. So, which was the safest place? E Edward were there. Edward and Talking James were there. I have many different engines, so they might have different names. And there's also some extras that I gave names. So, um, what? There's also some Tom Thomases on my railway. Just like, look at all that. But anyway, we en we ended up resting as Nick was also there with Edward. Christmas and and his. And his and her in in his coach, um, in in his coach, uh, Joel in his coach, Jolene. Was talking James. James was there, and then we derailed because he crashed into Gator, which was also here. They were all here resting. The fire was still happening, but then we saw Ashima fly by, but as something you wouldn't expect. She, she basically just, she, her wheels were missing and her paint was scraped, and she was just sliding along everywhere, going on a rampage, crashing into engines. Which could mu which were mutating them, and that's all that happened so far. I'll keep this journal in the cab in case anything else happens. Like and subscribe.